Welcome back, my duelist friends. It is mm, Friday. Yeah, TGIF, right? Um, it's been a long week. My throat's been in and out the whole time. Um, I have a feeling it's going to get a little rough partway through this. So again, just apologize. Please bear with me. And for those of you who weren't done enjoying Fallen of Albaz as a structure deck, I wanted to take you guys down the common charity route today. Uh, and then, of course, we'll do some test hands with it tomorrow, maybe show you guys how it's going to interact again. Uh, but it's basically just like a very still-budgeted variant of itself. Um, and most of this is going to be bought just within structure decks. Um, there's going to be a couple of cards that are going to add some value to it, uh, but not terribly so. So let's get you guys a deck list. First thing we're going to do, and again, this is going to be found in the Albaz Strike Structure, is going to be Albion the Shrouded Dragon himself. Uh, we're going to run two again, just like we did with our budget build. Uh, we're going to use a single Chaos Dragon Levianir because, again, he's a good boss monster. Um, you are going to want to play your three copies of Effect Failure that you got in this uh, because, again, good hand trap, great hand trap, also light hand trap. Uh, don't forget the Branded Dragon was a common, and we still want to play him. Uh, three Fallen of Albaz because it's not a deck without him. Uh, he is one of the most important cards. Uh, we are going to be running three copies of the Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit. And again, so far everything here was in the structure deck. So if you guys bought the structure deck, so far you guys are 100% covered. Uh, the next card is going to get a little weird and I just wanted to run it. Uh, you guys could have obviously run the Light Kaiju that was in the deck. I want to use uh, Jizukiru just because. Uh, I like the way he looks and I got tired of saying the Thunder one. So there's that. Uh, but again, that, that would have been in the structure deck. Uh, three copies of Starleash Seifert again. Because we do use a, a couple of dragons and Fallen of Albaz being a dragon. This is just another great way to board him quicker. Um, so again, I went with this. And then three copies of Summoner Monk. Now this is roughly 20 monsters. I think I counted this out earlier to being 20. Uh, but of course, you know, memory fails. Um, and again, it's just another wonderful way of getting the Fallen of Albaz to the board or to play the Starleash Seifert to do it in case you wanted to get more cards moving your way, however you wanted to do this, guys. Um, so again, very fun. Uh, and again, outside of the Jizukuru, everything here was pretty much found in the structure deck that you guys bought in order to play this anyway. So guys, so far, this isn't really money out of your pocket to play this form. So let's go ahead. I'll clear the field. You guys maybe make a, uh, maybe do a screenshot. And uh, I'll go ahead and clear the board. And now that we've done that, let's talk about the spells. Um, this time we're actually going to be using two copies of Branded Bond. Um, because again, we don't get every card in the common charity that we get in the master variant of the game. So again, this just helps us. Um, we are going to be using three copies Branded and White. Because again, Branded Fusion is rare, so we're not allowed to use it. So we have to use what we can, so we're going to use those. We're going to use two copies of Branded Lost, because this is still such a good protection for our fusions. Um, we're going to use the one called By the Grave. Um, and let's talk about some of the cards that don't come in the structure deck real quick. I'm sure you guys have got a dark hole laying around somewhere. And if you guys love tech spells, you probably have a couple mask changes from the Hero Strike structure deck. Uh, a lot of strike structures out there. A little weird, um, but again, this is going to allow us to play off the Dark Attribute to go into Dark Law, which again was, I believe, released common in that structure deck, or if we double check what I have, LEHD should have been a hero deck. Um, and so, yeah, you have common access to one of the best things that's going to trip your opponent. Uh, we do want to run a single Monster Reborn, again, not in that deck. And three copies of Super Polymerization. Thank you to the Shadal deck um, for really stepping up and providing for us. So again, if you do collect structure decks, chances are you have all of these. Even if you don't collect the structure decks, you may have the mask changes already in your collection. You may have the Super Polys already in your collection. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that the Monster Reborn and the Dark Hole are already in your collection. So huge shout out to this. Um... It, it it just allows you for a lot of really good plays. Uh, we're going to do the traps. There are five of them. 
Um, and again, very, very budget. The back to the fronts allow us to special summon. This allow us to do Albads during the opponent turn. Um, and realistically, it was in this structure deck as well. And then the only other card in the main deck that might add a little value is Solemn Strikes. But again, if you guys were collecting the structure decks, this was in the Machina structure decks. So super awesome. But still, these are maybe a few bucks a piece, like two to three dollars. So go ahead, take the uh, the screenshot, and I will be back with the extra deck real quick. And like I said, we're going to start off with Albion the Branded Dragon. And again, this is going to be Albaz plus Light. So again, this is going to make a lot of sense. It's another reason why we get to use Super Poly in here. Albion himself is going to count as Albaz on Field slash Grave. So as long as we can board his beautiful self, we can go ahead and Super Poly trap into some of these things as well. Uh, we are going to maximize out the Brigand. This will be plus level 8 or higher. Uh, we are going to double up on Dark Law because we are using two masks. So two and two, perfect ratio. Uh, go with that. We are going to use three copies, Sprint Iron Dash, and this will be Effect Monster Special Summon this turn, plus Albaz. So uh, back to the front on opponent's turn, slash Kaiju and Fallen of Albaz on our turn. Perfect. It's going to happen. Uh, plus Super Poly and Albion during opponent's turn, still viable. Uh, so again, we're going to get a lot of play out of that. And then Titanoclad, the Ash Dragon, is going to be Albaz plus Monster at 2,500 or more. Uh, this is 14 cards, 15th card, totally your choice. Uh, you guys could literally play anything you want here. I'm going to go with a single copy of Tornado Dragon because the Summoner Monks do make it very conducive to a rank 4 play. And uh, I like Tornado Dragon. There is not a, too much in the way of solid spell trap removal um, in Speed Duel outside of maybe Tornado Dragon and uh, Twin Twisters right now. Um, so I got to play one or the other. And again, Twin Twisters, more of a sideboard option for me anymore. Uh, so again, I found the space for the Tornado Dragon. I just went with the Tornado Dragon. Guys, you may play anything that you like. I just wanted to maximize out uh, to make it so it was more fluid towards the Super Poly slash Fallen of Albaz strategy. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, and if you guys just came for the deck list because you guys know what all of these cards do already, seriously, thank you for stopping by. Uh, class is totally dismissed. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, consider subscribing. If you've done that, spread the word. Let some of your friends know. Um, and, you know, maybe hit the notification bell. Outside of that, you guys go have a great day. Come back tomorrow if you want to see some test hands with it. Uh, but otherwise, have a wonderful weekend, all right? See you guys later. Everybody else, let's go ahead and let's just discuss this deck from the top to the bottom. And you know what? Let's start with the extra deck because it's right here. A lot of this is going to be Super Poly Trapping or Albaz Trapping uh, for the sake of it. So Plus Light will allow us to spawn another Fusion. Uh, so this is Fusion Summon, you can Fusion Summon a level 8 or lower from the extra deck except same name by banishing the materials from hand, field, and grave. During the end phase, if this is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you uh, you can add to your hand one so, hand or set sorry one branded spell trap from your deck. So again, this could help you get more Fusion stuff for the next turn. Uh, he's very cool. And again, 2500, not a bad stat. Um... Brigand gl uh, Glory uh, cannot be destroyed by battle while you control this fusion summon card. Your opponent cannot target other monsters you control with monster effects. So he's going to be a magnet for that. During the end phase, if this isn't a graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can add to your hand or special summon one tri brigade or fallen of Albaz from your deck. Um, and again, during the end phase, it can trigger a fusion if you have the card to discard or. Again, you could just add that to your hand, play it on your own terms, or you can activate Super Poly from the field. Literally all of your choice. Uh, Dark Law, you guys know this. Uh, any card sent from opponent or sent to the opponent's graveyard is banished instead. It is a semi macro cosmos. Uh, once per turn, if the opponent would add a card or cards from the deck to the hand, except during the draw phase or damage step, you can choose to banish a random card in the opponent's hand. 
if they only had the one card in their hand at the resolution, they lose what they searched for. So Dark Law applies the appropriate amount of pressure. Uh, Iron Dash, uh, during a main phase, you can move this to another main column. Uh, destroy all other cards in this card's column that are face up. During the end phase, if it's in the graveyard because it was sent there, you can add to the hand or special summon either Ace Spriggan or Fallen of Albaz from the deck. Each effect once per turn. Titanic Clan, same end of turn thing except Dogmatica. Main turn effect stuff. Gain attack equal to the combined original levels of the monsters used for the fusion summon. Uh, which is, again, why I tend to use such a huge kaiju um, in the deck. Because, again, it's it's more interactions based on the situation. Uh, after this is fusion summoned for the rest of the turn, it is unaffected by activated effects of any other monster special summoned from the extra deck. Um, which is fantastic. And then, again, Tornado Dragon, double MST on the rank 4. Very good. In the main, Albion still going to count as, again, Fallen of Albaz. While field or discard. Um, and then once per turn. Um, if this is in the hand or the graveyard. You can send one Fallen of Albaz or Branded Spell Trap from hand or deck to the graveyard. Apply the following effect based on the where the card is that you sent. If you sent a card from the hand. You may special summon the uh, Albion. And if you sent a card from the deck. You may now place this at the bottom of the deck. And then if you place this from the hand. Um, then you could draw one card. Now, a couple of things that I didn't clarify about this the first time around. That secondary effect he is going to be known as Fallen of Albaz while activating it. So if you do send a branded spell trap, it's one that you're going to be able to set at the end of the turn. Um, and then if he was in the graveyard, that's, that's the end of it. Um, if he was in the hand, he will not count as that. And instead, you will be able to send him back into the deck to draw a card. So again, there is a little bit of versatility. Um, and depending on which of the branded cards you're playing, um, this could be very good for you. Uh, Chaos of Dragon Levineer cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned by banishing any combination of light and dark at three monsters. When summoned this way, you may activate the following effect based on the attributes that were banished for the summon. But if you do that, then it cannot attack for the rest of the turn. So, you choose to get the effect. And if you choose to get the effect, no attack this round. If you choose to skip the effect, then you could attack. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you banished three light, special summon a monster in the graveyard in defense mode, which is awesome. This could allow us to play Albaz real quick. Um, if only dark, shuffle a random card from the opponent's hand back into the deck. Could be awesome. Maybe Dark Law is already in effect. We're trying to kill off their hand, kill their options. If a combination of both, destroy up to two cards on the field. So very cool monster, very good effects. Valor, stun a monster's effects for the uh, opponent's whole turn during one of their main phases. Good card, great card. Albaz, when is normal or special summon except damage step, discard a card. Sorry, optional. You can discard a card. Fusion summon or fusion monster's material, including this card. The other material must come from the opponent's side of the field. Fine. We are banking on that. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. When a monster on the field activates effect or a spell trap that has already been face up activates its effect. As a quick effect, send this from hand or field to discard. Destroy the card on the field that uh, activated its effect once per turn with this. Very good. Jizukuru. We're just using it to kaiju an opponent's monster. It's 33. It's light. It's more than eight stars. It is an effect monster. It qualifies for, I want to say, every one of our Albaz fusions. So again, light, level 8 or higher, effect monster, and of course 2,500 or more. So yes, Jizukuru, or again, if you wanted to use the Thunder Kaiju, uh, either way, you guys would be able to qualify all four of your Poly slash Albaz traps on this one card. So very good. Seifert, alternate route of boarding Albaz. Uh, you can send any number of dragons from hand in or face up on the field uh, to the discard. Add a dragon from the deck whose levels e or total level equals the total original levels of the monster sent to the graveyard. So again, four for four. Uh, you can banish this card from the graveyard, target a level eight or higher in the graveyard, add it to your hand, which could allow us to get back Albion. Uh, if you guys play the Thunder Kaiju, I want to say he was a dragon. 
or of course we could go ahead with our Chaos Dragon Levine here. So we do get some interplay. Uh, it is fine. Pick the route you like. Summoner Monk. Uh, when it's face up on the field, cannot be attributed. If this face up uh, card is normal or flip summon to change it to defense. Once per turn, discard a spell. Special summon a level four lower from the deck. Cannot attack this turn. So again, you could go uh, Summoner Monk to Star Leash, pop Star Leash, go to Fallen, Fallen, Summon, discard card, and fuse. Um, it's a little convoluted. It can thin out the deck a little more. It is whatever it is. Uh, again, if you guys wanted to play Wyver Burst during Collapse Serpent, this could help you get a Dark and or a Light going into the discard really rapidly to try to build. In case you want to get, you guys want to do something, maybe like a common uh, Dragon Links, you guys could. It's very good. Summoner Monk, very strong play. We could actually just go straight into Fallen of Albaz off of this um, and skip a whole thing. So you guys do whatever you guys do. Now, the two branded bonds, special summons, one fallen Valbaz that is either banished hand or graveyard. Uh, so again, we can do this to get Albion back to the field, or after we go into our Albion branded, we can banish cards and then start bringing back the cards that are fallen of Albaz. Uh, during the end phase, if this was sent to the graveyard to activate the effect of Fallen of Albaz this turn, you may set it. Each effect once per turn and again. If Albion is sending this to the discard, uh, to special summon itself, then not only do we get the special summon, we're going to get this back um, as long as it's in the discard pile when we tried to do that. Uh, branded in white, fusion summon a fusion monster from the extra deck using monsters from the hand and field as material, including a dragon. That's fine, we could do this. You can also banish from the graveyard as material, fallen of Albaz, uh, as fusion material from the hand, field, or by banishing itself in the graveyard. Um, do to do to do during the end phase. If this card is in a graveyard because we sent there to activate the effect of Fallen of Albaz this turn, you can then set this card. So again, we do get a little bit of usage and flexibility with it, and it's going to be able to banish cards from the discard pile to allow us to further fuse, which could bring us right back into our branded bond and special summon and field populate. Um, we are going to run the single call by the grave because it'd be silly not to now that it is uh, super easily accessible. It was already accessible. But I think being in a common uh, structure deck that is current, sorry, um, it is more so. Branded Lost, really going to help us with our fusions. Activation of card and effect that include the effect of fusion. Some of the fusion monster cannot be negated. So it's going to come off It's going to come off and do its effect. The opponent cannot deactivate cards or effects when a monster is fusion summoned this way. Uh, it's going to protect those. If you fusion summon a fusion monster, you can add one Fallen of Albaz or one monster that mentions it from the deck to the hand. You can use this effect once per turn. Again, fantastic. Dark Hole, it's just our Raigeki. Uh, you're going to start your turn. You're going to do that. Then you're going to make your plays. Um, or again, if you just need to reset the board, you can. Mask Change really just lets us get into our Dark Law for some control. Monster Reborn, good generic extender, Super Poly. Because there's you're not always going to be able to summon Fallen of Albaz, but you can. Um, back to the front is how you summon Albaz whenever you want. And again, strike just to go ahead and root out the uh, the summoning effects and or hand traps. Because again, it is going to be able to stop monster effects, which is incredibly useful, guys. Uh, especially since Ash Blossom Effect, Valor, Ghost Ogre, Call by the Grave. Uh, Call by the Grave is going against them, but like, again, it's super easy to get your hands on. It seems like they're bringing us all of the hand traps to common charity. It seems like that announcement was made on purpose to maybe push a few more structure decks. And you know what? It worked. So guys, this is the common charity variant. Uh, tomorrow we will come back. It'll be uh, we'll do the tech analysis card. Plus, we'll give you the test hands. So a little double feature this Saturday. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Uh, and again, guys, have a wonderful day. Hope to see you back tomorrow. Later.